Like I said in my last video, I think I forgot to split these vlogs up, so I'm going to start today's vlog here. So hello guys, good morning. If you haven't seen my previous vlogs, I am currently in Spain with my family. There was like 14 of us, a big family holiday. It was a rescheduled 2020 holiday. We've basically rented out this villa in the middle of nowhere in the Spanish countryside. It's absolutely stunning. We're not really doing much, it's just a sort of relaxing holiday, but the views are stunning. We're relaxing, there's a pool, it's a great time. I'm going to leave you to the other Anna to carry on this video. Good afternoon everyone today is tuesday i think i didn't vlog anything yesterday because to be honest i'm slightly worried about this vlog's content i think it's just going to be pretty much the same every day because they're doing pretty much the same every day i'm currently out by the pool in my little egg chair i've got a coca-cola i've got my book i'm like over halfway through my book it's really good one of us is lying i've got my hat i went for a little bit of a swim with my cousin earlier which was nice on the dinghies we've got lots of inflatables and like noodles and everything now so that's lovely and i'm just taking in the scenery. I just feel so lucky to be here right now and I just know how much I'm going to miss it when I get home. I'm starting a new job when I get home so this is like my last little break. It's absolutely gorgeous. You can't hear anything man-made. If I just stop talking, you can't hear anything except birds. It is glorious and the views are absolutely insane. I can't go over this view behind me. Every time I walk out the villa I'm like it's gorgeous like just the expanse of it and i'm not even really sure what they're growing but they're like the lines of trees and everything it's absolutely beautiful gorgeous tonight i think it's going to be a bit different because there is like a special dinner happening i'm not really sure why but i think everyone keeps saying that they're going to get like dressed up and eva said that there might be caterers i'm not sure if there is caterers i thought the adults were like bringing it in but there's going to be like tortilla gus gus Bacho, like the cold soup that they get in Europe and just like a bunch of little picky bits and things like that which is nice because we have been having like sort of picky bits for our meals. I just had lunch, we had salad and then had a bit of cheese and tomatoes and because we're in the middle of nowhere like I haven't left the villa in like the four days that I've been here so far and there's like 14 of us and basically one household has been going down to the supermarket every day because there's so many of us that we eat all the supermarket food in one day and also the roads are really quite treacherous and like hills and just they're not paved like it's like this on dark roads basically one household goes out to the supermarket takes them about three hours to go and come back and get supplies for the day so a bunch of the kids are out at the village today and then i think someone else is going to the supermarket in a cafe or something and then we'll all come back and have our fancy dinner tonight Good morning everyone, today I am leaving the villa, we are going on an adventure, it is my first time leaving the villa in like four days, so I'm very excited and mum's going to drive me and three of my cousins down and we're going to go to a cafe and then meet up with some of the others that are walking down I think, but I did not want to walk in these roads and I've only got my sliders so we are going to be getting in the hire car, seeing what's about, seeing what's near the villa. Goodbye Villa! We've arrived at a little cafe at the bottom of the road of the top of like the hill that we're on. Unfortunately they don't seem to do vegetarian food. So the little cousins have got ice cream and the rest of us have ordered like beers and coca-cola it looks like. So I think we'll just sit here for a while and probably then head back up to eat the paella that was made for us last night because I'm getting a bit hungry. <laughs> Why are you laughing?
at the villa now. It was nice to go outside a little bit and see a little bit of civilization, even though like it was still pretty quiet. I didn't really even a village, it was just kind of like a street with some houses on it and a bus stop, a little tiny shop and the cafe that we sat at that we just had drinks at because there was no vegetarian food. So I've just warmed up some of the vegetarian pile up from last night. It was absolutely massive. We did not finish everything last night, which is good because it means that we've got lots of leftovers for today. So I'm gonna sit here with my vegetarian paella and have a good lunch time. Maybe read some of my book. Good morning, everybody. I have just applied my sun cream, so I'm looking extra shiny. Today it is Thursday, so yesterday we went to the cafe and had a nice little outing from the villa, which was nice. So we've got Thursday, Friday, and then we're leaving the villa on Saturday to go back to Malaga for a couple of days, I think. So we had a week in the villa, and then I think the whole holiday is about 10 days, maybe, which is nice. I haven't had like quite a long, holiday in a while, normally we just go for a week. It's just gone half ten, I had quite a slow morning this morning, didn't set any alarms or anything because I found a couple of bugs um, when I woke up at like 5am this morning so I didn't get back to sleep again for a while so I just let myself sleep in, have a lovely shower, do all my skincare, my SPF on my face, everything and put all my hair products in. My hair is not as curly as it used to be because I absolutely killed it in Thailand, well to be honest I didn't know I was killing it the hairdresser bleached my hair twice and then put my head under one of those heated hood things. And I didn't realize that she was doing that. I mean, she obviously told me she was bleaching it twice, but I was like, oh, that's what she needs to do. Like she knows that like what she's doing, but apparently not. And my hairdresser now says that I have the driest hair she's ever seen. So can't wait. I think I'm gonna like get some sort of root balayage to make it a bit darker soon so that I can grow it out for a bit and just let it heal. Because also these wee bits at the front, this is all new growth that is like snapped off from the double bleaching. Anyway, this is not what I was gonna talk to you about today. This is my outfit for today. Got on my little Urban Outfitters play suit and just a bikini underneath, which I think goes quite well because like you can see the ruffles at the arms, which is nice. I'm gonna head out and see what there is in the kitchen in terms of breakfast. I don't really know what I'm gonna have to drink because the kettle keeps boiling little white flakes in it, which is like calcium or something, which I don't think is great. I'm so used to having a hot drink in the morning. I don't really know what else I can have. We've got like iced tea and stuff, but I like to have my hot drink in the morning. I'll see what there is, maybe have an Actimel or something. Hopefully there's some leftover tortilla. That's what I've been having most mornings for breakfast. And I finished One of Us is Lying yesterday, which was really good. Sometimes it was a little bit slow. Like I didn't really think it was a massive page turner, but I thought it was easy to read. So if you're looking for something that's easy to read, I'd really recommend that. I read it in about well, how many days have I been here now? Five days? Now I've moved on to a book that I picked up ages ago in Aldi, actually. It is called Seven Letters. So I'll keep you updated on how I'm going with that. I feel like I need a break between books, but also I don't really have much else to do here. So I think I will be starting this today. I went to make my tea and the thing with the kettle happened and I took the tea bag out and there was still a little floating white bits. So I'm not gonna have a tea this morning. I saw this in the fridge. I've got myself a glass of horchata. Checked with an adult and apparently I just made have it on its own cold. It's sort of like cinnamony and sweet but then there's also a sort of odd aftertaste as well. I think I like it. I mean I, th I yeah I just can't really put my finger on that sort of aftertaste. Or I say it's like cinnamon mixed with oat milk mixed with something else that I don't know what it is. But yeah I'll drink this glass and I'm just gonna have my breakfast with the view once again. Hi guys welcome back to Anna Joan. This is to prove to everyone that I can swim. Come on! <laughs> Hello everybody. Today in the villa, it seems it's just me, Eva, you and I and Gabe. Everyone else has gone to a wolf sanctuary. I forgot about it, it was arranged yesterday, but me and Eva said we didn't really want to go to a wolf sanctuary. So that's why the pool is not full of screaming children today, which is nice. And then I think my mum said at four, we're going to start setting up the pool party. We start at five. Is that tomorrow? Is that tomorrow? I have put on my best outfit today. It's tomorrow. The pool party's tomorrow. Friday night pool party. We're checking out on Saturday. What about my hangover? This is terrible news. Everyone's at the Wolf Sanctuary today and apparently nothing's happening tonight. But for now, I'm having fun on my Lilo. Pero no cambiar el destino. 
Se lo relea nuestro deber y por ahora esto es nuestro asunto. Estamos en esto juntos. Ya no quiero más. Ver un mundo que no falla, no quiero más. Uno que no está en la calle, no quiero más. Sé muy bien que no está bien, es que no quiero más. Es que no queremos más Cuando el plato tiene un dueño Todo el mundo le da hambre A madres con hijos que no comerán Como si esto fuera un lujo No le vengo con tapujos Solo muestro pa' que vean la realidad El único hambre que yo quiero en este mundo Es hambre por la verdad Que algún día no llegará Pase lo que pase No se de donde se nació Si se nace con dinero que hicimos su mano es lo mínimo que quiero nada más que juntos sentimos la pobreza existe cuando no compartimos y si no la vivimos tampoco lo vimos si no ya no quiero más 